Hey guys, Flo here bringing you another episode of the Napoli Korea Mo series, episode 17. We have the first match here in the Serie A against Torino, team that uh, always puts problems uh, on Napoli, but uh, we'll see in this game Torino versus Napoli in the Serie A, Stadio Olimpico from Torino. Napoli were in first spot uh, on top of Udinese and Lazio, but uh, every wrong step would put them uh, behind these two. Napoli having a great run at the moment. They are in the semi-finals in the UEFA Champions League. With the first chance here, Vargas passing the ball for Tarab and Gillet. Beautiful save there. I was saying Napoli have a pretty good run at the moment. Not a lot of matches to go until the championship is finished. They want to finish in that first spot, but first spot isn't bad uh, either Cavani here for Vargas passing the board for Tarab Tarab with a cross it's blocked at another shot and Gillet beautiful save there how on earth did he manage to to keep that out of the goal Rodriguez for uh, Gillet with a mistake Cavani here Cavani passes the ball for Vargas shoots the ball Gillet saving and Tarab again Gillet what a big chance for uh, for Napoli 27 minutes in, it's not over, Caduri. With a few step overs there, Caduri passing the ball for Jordi Alba. And Cavani! How did Napoli miss this chance as well? Verdi. On the left flank, Verdi manages to keep the ball. Beautiful volley! Ciro almost scoring for Torino. Inler passing the ball for Cavani, beautiful flick, beautiful volley, what a beautiful volley there by Cavani, surely it would have been one of the goals of the season if that would have gone in, Inler, now for Cavani again, Napoli are on fire, Cavani with a shot, but again the goalkeeper saving the ball, Inler now for El Caduri, El Caduri for Cavani, in the center of the pitch, Cavani in the box, 1-0 for Napoli and Cavani, it looked like an easy goal, but Cavani is a master of a striker, and it's 1-0 for Napoli. Cavani here, flicks the ball, Cavani at the edge of the box. He manages to pass the ball there for Vargas. No, it's El Caduri. Putting the ball into the abyss, not even close, and uh, it's 1-0 for Napoli. El Caduri now again with a shot, but Chile manages to save this one. And it will finish Torino 0, Napoli 1 and uh, Napoli are in a good position to finish in that first spot now jumping on to the next match Borussia Dortmund in the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League after qualifying after beating Saint-Etienne after beating Chelsea now it's time for Borussia Dortmund to to see if Napoli is good enough to qualify against this German team Borussia Dortmund, one of those teams you you pretty much sympathize with uh, just because they qualified uh, in the final of the Champions League a few years back. But that's in the past now. Napoli versus Borussia Dortmund at San Paolo. Napoli, they said it time and time again. Champions League is their main priority now. Championship, no important. Champions League, very important. So the first chance here is for Borussia Dortmund. Kostel manages to put uh, his fingertips to this and it's a corner kick for uh, for Dortmund Kostil manages to punch the ball Blasikovsky for Subotic off target again Bender now for Blasikovsky Tashi with a tackle but it's not enough Blasikovsky Kostil is present there Napoli with their first chance of the game Cavani now Zuniga plays a little bit the ball. Zuniga manages to pass the ball there for Cavani. Shooting Cavani, 1-0 for Napoli. Just before the halftime, Napoli manages to snatch this goal and it's 1-0 for Napoli. They should be pleased with this one. The only chance they're creating into this first half. And at halftime, Napoli won. Borussia Dortmund nil. Hamšík. Hamšik here, Napoli wants to finish this from this first leg. For Isigny! Big chance there for Napoli. Only a few minutes to go and Dortmund feel that they can score another goal but could still manage to save this one. And! Referee 
Felipe Santana scoring, but is that legal? No, I believe it's not. It's a big mistake there by the referee, but the goal stands 1-1. Big mistake there. What a fail. Zuniga passing the ball for Inler. Shooting the ball, Inler. Napoli know that they need to score, but they don't have much time. Probably the last chance here of the game. Jordi Alba passing the ball for Insigne. Beautiful step over by Insigne. He's in the box. Insigne. Six yard box and he wins this one for Napoli. Insigne scoring in the 90th minute and uh, Napoli pretty much win this one and they have a favorable position to qualify for the final. Very beautiful play shot there by Insigne and uh, it's game over. Napoli Dortmund 2-1. Napoli will surely want to score in the second leg but uh, a nil-nil will be enough to qualify them in the UEFA Champions League final. We're moving on to the Serie A. Take a look at the table. Napoli are three points in front of Lazio at the moment. So they're in a pretty much favorable position with the six matches to go in the Serie A. But uh, they will be facing a pretty tough opponent, Udinese, who are in a fifth spot and they surely want that third spot as well. So it's Napoli versus Udinese in the Serie A, San Paolo. Udinese were after Napoli's position, but Lazio were there fighting for this uh, third spot as well. Udinese here with the first shot, seven minutes in, and here's the post! And Debushi manages to clear the ball. Andre Martins, it seems not to be over for, uh, for Udinese. And Amore Bieta with a mistake! But beautiful tackle there, I don't know who it was, but it was a beautiful tackle. Another corner. Just before the half time, when Kost still manages to save this one for Napoli. Nil nil at half time, and Napoli coming uh, from the dressing room with uh, with a confident face. Napoli here with Cavani, beautiful Cavani, scoring Cavani, and it's one nil for Napoli. How many times did I say this? One nil for Napoli scores Cavani. Rolando now passing the ball. No. He, it's a mistake, and Andre Martins. Amore Pieta needs to save this one. No, Reneje with the shot, and it's 1 1. Out of nothing, Reneji scoring for Dinese. Williams. Fast fit there by the, the Udinese player, but it's quite risky here. The goalkeeper. Not the best of clearances. Jordi Alba for Vargas. 2-1. What a goal from Vargas. What a beautiful volley. And this will surely win the game for Napoli. Yes, it does. Napoli versus Juventus. 2-1. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check the next episode out. I'm your host, Flo. Flo scribed, like, and all that crap. I'm going to see you next time.